Hey everybody, this is David Crowder, and you're visiting shinefm.com. This is going to be a happy little journey for you. Hey, I'm Stephanie Nicole, and I'm sitting here with David Crowder from none other than the David Crowder Band. That's Good true. Day. How That's, are you doing? It, I am doing well. Now, we've yes, had a little wintry weather here. Which I'm excited by. You, <laughs> you started, I mentioned this, and you started apologizing, but I, I was telling you, we have been about a week and a half up north of the border, and we brought all our winter clothes. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got to use anything. Really? It's, it's been like, yeah, it's been so pleasant. And finally, we woke up this morning and there was some snow outside. So. Perfect. You know that beard is not going to waste. Right? I know. I was, always, I was like, I, they'll think I can move here with something like <laughs> yeah, this. And exactly. It's gone to waste. So, no so, longer. It's so great to have you here. We've, I've been following your career for a while basically the whole time oh, that brilliant. you've been doing music and stuff like that and uh, really cutting edge modern worship stuff which we're really appreciative of. Question though, mm -hmm. I'm wondering when, you know, did you ever think this is what you would be doing with your life? Um, like when you were six, what did you want to be? Oh wow, definitely I had no aspirations to this. I'm not sure when it came about but at some point it was pretty much decided within our family that I would eventually take over uh, my dad's insurance agency. Really? Yeah. Can you see this? <laughs> Like me knocking on I your know. door? I think you might have to Have you thought about your children's style. future? Yeah, I know. I had to clean some things <laughs> yeah. up, I guess. Uh, but yeah, no, I, was, I, had, I got to head to school um, at college down in Texas and uh, study whatever I wanted because of my, you know, I had the nepotistic pick up. So as long as I could pass the entrance exam, I was in. Right. And I remember calling home. Uh, our church started about, well, my junior year of college. And then about three years into that, I was calling saying, Dad, I think it's going to be a while. So yeah, here we are. Here we are. Still, still going. Well, you know, you can still do insurance at some point if you want. I hope you not. You always fall back on that. <laughs> I hope no not No offense, either. Dad. <laughs> but yeah, no, he's now sold the thing, so it's, oh, it's yeah. too late. All it's right, too late. well. Yeah, bigger, yeah, better things, right, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. So the writing process for you, you know, you started out leading worship with University Baptist mm -hmm. Church. Do you still lead worship from time to time? Um, actually, most of the time. Oh. We, we only miss 15 Sundays a year, so wow. they're stuck with us for the most part. Yeah, <laughs> we love it. And it's still mostly collegiate-based. Um, it's been pretty cool. As the church has aged, uh, a lot of people have stuck around and had families, and now we've got kids running around wow. in nurseries and stuff. It's it's pretty crazy. So you're so. just a few generations away from seniors. Or it is, yes. Seniors. In fact, there's a... <laughs> There's a group of, of uh, the folks that have been around for a while that they call themselves the other side. Oh, like, right. you know, they're, they're down in real life's happening yeah. and, and they're, they're like a little, I don't know, they think that they're a little pious and above all the rest <laughs> of us. It's kind of sad, but they, yeah, it's really a great group of people. So being connected to community like that with all the different ages, does that affect how you write your albums? For example, church music. It, it has changed uh, just because of the, the things that life presents college student are they're very different than, than what is presented to parents of teenagers and mm -hmm. such. So trying to accommodate a larger age bracket, you, I, I can definitely spot some of the thematic um, twists and turns that have occurred as the records have progressed. Um, but it's still starting from a really simple base that I, I feel like our role is to provide music and an enunciation of our experience mm -hmm. together as a community and that's pretty simple to me you know because we're living life together life unfolds in certain ways we have sermon series pop up and we're supposed to be the group that accommodates these right. themes and, and ideas about God and, and um, the rest of it is where it gets confusing you know how in the world I'm in Calgary right now I don't know uh, <laughs> but the other part makes sense yes well I am too so one last question about church music. Now this is a 73 minute album that can run seamlessly, you can put it on repeat, it just keeps going forever. That's true. What's the thought behind that? I'm just curious. <laughs> well, um, uh, there's a, there were a lot of thoughts behind that. The, the simple way to put it would be, I think that the, the song, that what the church sings, the, the, the praise of God will exist eternally. And granted it's changed and evolved and there's been contention and it, when you look at history and how the church is, how music's set among us is, is we we fought over it a lot. We have embraced a lot, um, um, but it's 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 still here in the middle of us. And I think it's because we're made this way. And I believe that will be how we continue to express ourselves for eternity. Awesome. Well, thanks very much. Absolutely.